I got Blue when he was a year and a half, and I was still a teenager. He's kind of been the one consistent thing that's never changed in my life, and the one thing that has always loved me, no matter what I looked like or what I did or what I didn't do. We just work. Well, good and bad news. Um, good news is, is his <clears throat> blood work is perfect. Obviously, though, there's something going on. Yeah. The things sometimes that you have to think about when all the blood work is normal and, uh, and there's still something going on could be cancer somewhere, unfortunately. Um, it's a possibility for sure, you know, especially with how dramatically he's changed. Um, you know, where we would need to start at this next step for him would be to do x-rays. Do you mind holding him for me and I'll sedate him while you're here? Oh, that's fine. And then he can fall asleep with you. That way he's not stressed. Okay. okay. Just hearing the word cancer, regardless of what kind of cancer it is, it's just a, a rough thing, especially with a dog that's 13 years old. You ready? Yeah. I don't know how to be without him in my life. Don't assume the worst, huh? That's what you're doing. He looks terrible. The thought of not having him with me every single day, it scares me. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh, man, he's out. Yeah, that's good, though. <laughs> it's really hard to see my wife and that that much pain. The hardest thing is just absolutely nothing you can do about it. It's just really rough. Hello? His blood work came back perfect. OK. But it's just worrisome because of his age, and she's really scared about cancer. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do when he's not here with me anymore. For a mother hearing pain in your child's voice, there is no words in the English language to describe that feeling. He's my best friend. I know that Tanya and Bluey have such a tight bond. And for her to see her best friend sick, it's devastating. I just, like, really, really, really need him. Nothing you can't prepare for. You know, there's no way to prepare for that. Yeah, I know. I wish I could tell her that everything is going to be fine. But at this point, we just don't know. Uh, can you call me back when she tells you? Yeah, I'll call you in a couple hours. OK. Bye. Bye-bye.